Hey, what is up, everyone? It's Zach, aka Kate39, here to bring you another NBA DFS slate. Uh, we got a pretty fun slate here, actually, today. Um, I already have some injury news coming in, a lot of it, actually. Um, and there's only, so far, there's only one that's like 90% in value play. So hopefully it stays that way. I keep the slate fun. Um, go ahead and get right into this one. Uh, okay, so the first spot that we're definitely attacking is the Utah Jazz against the Washington Wizards. Um, no Mike Conley, that's for sure, and um, Jordan Clarkson is listed doubtful. So Donovan Mitchell is going to get crazy usage once again. He is on an absolute tear right now. Uh, you see 42, 37, 41 in the last three, all these games without Jordan Clarkson. I don't know how much that means, but we have seen 35 shots, 25 shots, 31 shots. So with no Jordan Clarkson, he is definitely getting a shots up. Uh, no Mike Conley is only going to add to that. Um, and we get a smash up against the Washington Wizards, who we all know we attack, attack, attack every time. Um, and so normally this game, I'd be really nervous about it staying close. But without this two, um, that definitely helps. Bradley Beal's probable. Davis Bertans is going to play. So everything that could align for this game to stay competitive is that way. So uh, I'm, I'm going to attack this game. I think that it stays close, and I think it's going to be very high scoring. Um, and I, I literally, like, Donovan Mitchell, Bogdanovich, Royce O'Neal, Joe Ingles, uh, Rudy Gobert, Matt Thomas, I even think, is in play as a GPP guy that can get hot from three. Um, yeah, I just think that all these guys are uh, very, very in play. Um, I really like Bogdanovich is for the fact that he's power forward, which is a tougher one of the tougher positions tonight. They're going to need him to score. Um, I think the more popular play is going to be um, Royce O'Neal, and I think it's rightfully so. Um, but the one nervous about nervous thing about him is that he's gonna guard, uh, he's gonna guard Ru Russ or Bradley Beal. Like he's gonna, he's the the guy that's gonna take the tough matchup out of the group. Um, so there is at least a, a hail mary chance that he gets in foul trouble. Um, and he's not, he's he's like a more, he's a good, really good rebounder for uh, his size. Um, and he's just he sits in the corner like you don't see him do too too much, but he can get like steals, blocks, and he's like really good in that stuff. Uh, Bogdanovich, they draw they're gonna draw plays up for. He's gonna get double digit shots in this one for sure. Um, I think his minutes gets closer to like the thirty two to thirty five. Uh, since these last couple, he hasn't had that many minutes. Um, but yeah, I just think I really like his upside here, and that's why I'm gonna take him. He's gonna be guarded by probably. Probably get Davis Bertans. He, he could get uh, Denny Advita, but who is also a bad defender. So both him and Royce O'Neal get really I, the whole line of his good matchups. I, who am I kidding? But um, yeah, that's I love every single Utah Jazz tonight, um, and they're gonna be chalky and rightfully so. Um, so next we're, we'll, we're gonna go down to Jokic. Um, so center is absolutely low. Actually, I'll go Nasri first so I can get through this. Um, Car Anthony Towns is ruled out. He gets the match against the Brooklyn Nets. It should stay competitive because there's no Kyrie or James Harden. KD will probably be on some sort of minutes limit. So um, he's just like we we saw 28 minutes from him last night with Cat. Like they want to play him. Um, yeah, like this is just a lock and play. He's gonna if he gets DeAndre Jordan, like he's he stretches the floor. He's a really good three point shooter. Um, He's just a really solid player. I just don't really see much of a way to fade him tonight. Um, he's probably like the only stone cold block that I was talking about earlier. It's going to be super chalky. Um, I just think he really has like a 20.4. Um, but he's been scoring in these 20s with Cat, like, and Cat is a usage monster. Um, I think I, well, there's a lot of Timberwolves in play. Like, I, I'm going to guess the other Russell's still on some sort of minutes limit, which kind of stinks as he's been awesome lately. Uh, Ricky Rubio hasn't been playing great minutes, but he's a solid play at his price. Um, Anthony Edwards is going to get a usage boost, so I think he's fine. Uh, he's probably a little overpriced for me, but um, he's at least in play because of it. 
but yeah, you're just you're not fading uh, Nas Reed tonight. He's just been really really good as of late as well. Um, and you're gonna see with no towns like these things are gonna go up as well. Um, playing the five instead of the four, which he's had to play since he's sharing the court with Cat. So I'm his cat's been getting like 40 minutes a night. Um, so yeah, you're just playing him. But on the Jokic, uh, as I was saying, center is absolutely loaded. Um, I just got quickly through. Like I love Joel Embiid here at that price. Um, Vucevic at 9K is really solid. Rudy Gobert is an awesome play, as I already talked about. Balachunas has been on a tear. It's a back to back, which makes me a little nervous, but he is way underpriced for how good he's been lately. Um, Draymond Green has this, the chance to start at the five, and like he is, would be a really like when he plays the five, I love playing him. I'm going to guess not, as I'll talk about in a second, about who will probably play there. Um, Mo Bamba is way underpriced for how good he's been as of late. Um, like these 20 to 25 minutes and getting 30 DK points in three straight. Um, that's he's a really good DFS player. Um, DeAndre Jordan, as I mentioned, there's no uh Lamarcus Aldridge, so he may get to start. And at 4K, he's very much in play, as well as Blake Griffin if he were to start. Um, more uh Kavon Looney I'm gonna guess he starts because there's no way I know Draymond Green's a good defender there's no way they make him cover Jokic like that's just gonna be a nightmare um so I could see Kev- Kavon Looney getting close to 30 minutes with no Wiseman uh last game they started Toskin uh in the second half over since with Wiseman hurt but that was a different matchup like this one they're gonna need Looney's size and I, I think he's gonna play a lot of minutes I think he's very much in play but it doesn't matter who they start. Jokic is going to destroy them. Uh, Kevon Looney gives them a better chance. But uh, I'm going to go – actually, it's just right here. Um, with Jamal Murray hurt, okay. I think he's missed four straight. But I'm gonna, last time he played was the fourth. Um, the games without Jamal Murray, we've seen 11 assists, 10 assists, 14 assists, 11 assists. Um like his usage, I don't know why he got a price decrease. Like last, he's been playing insanely well, and that's with um, a couple of games where there's been blowouts, so he hasn't been playing that much. And if, uh, yeah, like I just don't don't really see why his price was down so much. Like I, I guess Javale McGee maybe is, they think it's taking his minutes, but it's it's not that. It's because of blowouts. Um. But yeah, like he literally has scored 50 in all these games without Jamal Murray. Um, does think that it's a 10 o'clock game, so I guess I guess he's not as big of a lot. I feel like he's obviously fine. Jamal Murray plays like he's a great play either way. Um, but his assist upside is through the roof if he plays. Averaging 26, 11, and nine, like he's the front runner for MVP. I don't care what anyone says. It's his award to lose right now. Um, and I think that's just going to make him play even better. Even if he says it doesn't motivate him, it's, it motivates everybody, whether they say it or not. I just think he's a fantastic play here. Um, but there is like, if you like, there's a lot of good value plays. So like you could punt at, or you could play him and, um, you, or you could play Nas Reed and Kevon Looney and pay up other spots. You can go like it de- depends who you like between like Kevon Looney, Royce O'Neal, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. Like, there's a lot of good value plays. So it just depends on the overall bills. Um, but yeah, love Jokic. Uh, finally, got finally I'm going to talk about is Bruce Brown. So it's going to be very lineup dependent for Brooklyn. Um, as I've mentioned, there's no Harden or Kyrie or Lamarcus Aldridge. Um, if It'll depend, like, if they say Kevin Durant has a 30, he can play 30 minutes. I think he is very, very good play, as we all know how good he is. And he gets that kind of usage um, in those minutes. Like, he could definitely smash even in 30 minutes. Um, and, but the, a lot of other, like, Joe Harris, I usually don't like paying up for. Um, but I think he's a really solid play if you land on him. Um, Jeff Green, I think, is solid. I don't have as much interest, but like even with all the guys healthy, he was play- he's 26, 22 minutes. Um, so, and he, they're going to need him to score. So, I, I could see a route to play Jeff Green. Um, they could start Blake Griffin, especially with no cat. They could say we could play Blake at the five. 
and I would think he's interesting. Um, they haven't been playing him too many minutes, but obviously that could change. Um, but I think that Bruce – so point guards where you the guard position, I should say, in general, is where is they're going to have to get, get some guys some minutes. So I think Bruce Brown has been really good when he gets minutes. Great rebounder as a guard. He's shown upside of being a good passer, and he's really good off the ball. Um, so with KD running the, the – KD will basically be a point guard tonight when he's in. Um, so I think Bruce Brown has a good chance to take advantage of that. Um, they're going to need his defense. I'm going to guess he probably gets Anthony Edwards uh, or D'Angelo Russell when he's in. So I just think he is the, the, the most upside out of all of them. Like TLC is going to get minutes, and if he catches fire from three, he's going to be a good play. It's going to be dependent on that, though. Uh, same thing goes for Landry Shamit. He's a little bit of a better player and a little bit more of a guard. So I think that he is the better player over TLC. And even Chris Chioza said if Chris Chioza were to start, he'd be a lock. Um, as he, whenever he does play, he is very, very good for DFS. Like he can score fine and he's a really good passer. I don't, he, he doesn't really ever start for them. I think he's in play even though he's not starting, I should say. Um, but yeah, I just think that you're gonna probably play somebody from Brooklyn. As of now, it's Bruce Brown for me, but that could definitely change. Uh, like say Chris Chiesa starts, um, that'd be one thing. The good thing is for me is I'm not really playing anybody from these games. Like I think Nerlens Noel is one I'm interested as well as Julius Randle, but my builds aren't landing on that as of now. Like Mo Bomba, as I said. But no one else I'm really jamming in unless I like want to decide to go and beat over Jokic. Don't plan on that, but it's possible I could decide that. Um, so you be- before all the all the juicy games, which are later in the day, we're gonna have the news on uh, the starting lineup for Brooklyn, which will help that situation a lot. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it. As always, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, be around in chat for this fun slate, and I'll see you next time later.